we all like that opening cinematic showcase and you know what? It's actually very, very satisfying to do a whole lighthearted family themed one because most of my cinematics, if you've seen my other ones, are very dark and moody. So to do one that is way more family friendly, lighthearted, it fulfills that creative flow of just being able to get creative and mix things up. But anywho, today we are here to talk about Chai T42. So first off, thank you so much for Steeped Games for sponsoring today's video. This game is currently live on Kickstarter. If you want to check that out, the link is down below if you want to go ahead and see that, see the campaign, support them, and do all those things. Now, in Chai Tea for Two, you are playing as a tea merchant, growing tea and harvesting them across different seasons to eventually get them on ships and sent off to everyone around the world to enjoy your beautiful, delicious brew. This is how the game works. The board is made up of five different pieces and on each individual board, you'll have access to different actions. So on your turn, you start off by placing this green meeple called the T assistant clockwise one to three spaces on any of these harvest markers, these rectangular shaped tiles. Now, when you do that, both players will get the T that's shown on that tile. In this case, it's the white and green T and you're gonna take those tokens and put it at the bottom of your plantation board. From there, this marker moves to the opposite side of the board. Now, since the T assistant is moving a limited amount of spaces, it'll be moving around the board, flipping one tile from one side to the other, and this creates a bigger variety of resource choices for both players. From there, both players will roll dice. And as a side note, these dice trays that I'm showing you are add-ons and are not included in the deluxe edition. And now we introduce one of the main mechanisms of the game, which is dice worker placement. We got our T's from the worker, we roll dice, and now we're going to allocate those dice on different areas of the board. On the very left is the harvest board, which is your wild resource generator. You can put any number of dice here and collect one T token of your choice. Connected to that first piece is the market board. Now notice here how there are six cards. Each of them have a different number die below or above it. Now, as you can guess, you're gonna put a die here that matches the number, like for example, the number three, and then you get that card that is currently listed there. These cards are called T plantation cards, meaning if you take this card, it'll give different effects. For instance, if I put a die here and I take a matcha tea card, then I can move the green and white tea tokens up one space. Remember, the goal here is to move all these tokens all the way up to the top, and these cards are one way to do so. You have cards that move teas up, you have cards that convert different tokens, you have crate cards that give you different bonuses if tea tokens are adjacent to it, and cards that give you bonus points depending on the overall number of blooming tea cards on your plantation board. The third spot you can place dice are on the palace board, which gives you access to different abilities, like this first one lets you move the tea plantation card to any other slot on the board or you can also swap the position of two cards. There's also a slot here to put a die here if you wanna go first. And lastly, you can also flip your cards face up because some of the card effects like the silver needle, even if it moves your white and yellow teeth up one space, that card gets flipped face down after you use it. So you would need a way to reset it by putting a die here in this space on the palace board. All right, so we are generating resources. We are rolling dice. We're then taking those dice that we just rolled in order to allocate them in different areas in order to get more tea, more cards, or use different effects. Now here are the final two spaces of the board. Now you have the harbor board where you place a dice to preserve a ship, but they have to be in a sequence like one, two, or two, three. The other player can respond to your placement though by putting a higher sequence like three, four, or a longer one like two, three, four. At the end of the round, whoever has the highest or the longest sequence will take that ship and place it above your plantation board. In this last space, you have the production board. Now this one requires two to four tea workers that have to have the same value, like for instance, two and two. You also compete for the space because if another player decides that they want it, they can then displace their dice with a higher or longer sequence. Now, once your ships are on the plantation board, you can just keep moving your tea up. That way they fill up the ships and three to five ships triggers end game. The most victory points from tea plantation cards, fulfilled ships, and merchant powers, if you're playing the normal side, will win. And that is the general overview of how this game pretty much works. Now, there are a couple of other things that I wanted to mention. Everyone does start off with a different merchant side. There is an A side and a B side. A is for normal play, and B is for the more advanced side that introduces player powers. Like for instance, Oolong has the ability to swap two tea plantation cards with each other. There's also a solo mode where the AI will allocate dice that turn and you can play it sequentially or randomly for more difficult challenges. 
That, my friends, is a preview for Chai T42. Tell me what you think about this game down in the comments below. If you are interested in the campaign, if you're interested in this game in general, go ahead and check out the links that I will leave in the description down below as well. Let me know if you're interested in picking up this game. And with that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the cinematic and I will see you all in the next video.